The year was 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic, worldwide epidemic. Many people were frightened. They felt vulnerable, and partly because they did not understand their own blood. So here's a, a smear of blood in my lab, and we can see lots of pink for carrying oxygen. But what are all these purple cells? Well, let's take a look, because we are loaded with body defense cells. Right. And the most abundant are the neutrophils. When I think of a neutrophil, I think of a cell that has a large multinucleant body. And they all look a little different, no matter what uh, view you see. But one thing they all have in common is this multinucleate. They're fast. They're furious. Let's say you're in a movie theater. Someone sneezes. The virus enters your lungs. These are the fastest, most abundant, and they're going to attack and destroy the virus before it invades your t uh, lung tissue, in most cases. But we don't just have neutrophils because, okay, they're good for bacteria, but what about a virus? Well, here we have these cells called lymphocytes with a solid nucleus, and their job is to release antibodies through T cell activity and, and specifically target viruses. But what about other things that attack us? Well, the monocyte picks up that job. It has a huge body. It's kind of a horseshoe shaped nucleus. And they're pretty abundant. Now, here's a nice one here. You can see how big it is compared to uh, lymphocyte and white, uh, the red blood cells. Now, these monster monocytes are going to travel everywhere through bone, brain tissue, liver, kidneys, and they destroy everything splinters, bacteria, and viruses, indiscriminate destroyers. Next we have the eosinophil, which some people curse these guys because one of their roles is to release histamines. And histamines are what cause us to sneeze, okay, allergic reactions. In fact, sometimes we die because of uh, too much histamine release. They look like a neutrophil except they have granules covering them. So at first you just might think, well, it, didn't have the, it has a nucleus like a neutrophil. But granules. Okay, a close relative is the basophil. I started to draw here. Their job is very similar to eosinophil. They're going to be involved in allergic reactions, but just like an eosinophil, they also destroy pi uh, parasites. So they have some value. You don't want to just reach for cold medicine every time you're not feeling good because when you do that, you're shutting down the activity of all these white blood cells. So now let's take a look. Hopefully this makes a little more sense to you. We, the pink cells, well, we, we know the pink cells are, are red blood cells. They're going to transport oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitric uh, oxide. So all these pink cells here are the erythrocytes, red blood cells. Platelets, teeny dots here. So when we get a lesion, a cut, we don't bleed to death because these are going to release fibrinogen and block. Thank goodness for that. Neutrophils, the most abundant first fast responders. You can see here, here's that multinucleate body. So they're going to attack everything right away. No stalling around. Lymphocytes, if you see the lymphocytes, they're going to have a solid nucleus. And if you remember, they seek out viruses. They don't want to overlap because the neutrophils do their job. Lymphocytes do their job. Okay, but what if we get something bigger, something unusual? Well, we're not naked to attack because we have the monster monocytes. And here's that sort of U-shaped body. And see how massive it is compared to a red blood cell? And they're going to attack everything. Splinters, bacteria, anything that doesn't belong. Even cells that become cancerous can get scoured away. In fact, when you get a, an illness and you have kind of mucus with yellow in it, or you have an infected sore, a lot of that pus, what we call pus, is the dead monocytes. They just die of saving your life. Okay, here's our two uh, allergic res uh, responders, but also they will focus on parasites, so they're not worthless. And now this view of blood gives us some confidence because we realize, hey, we're built to survive. Our ancestors fought off hyena. They walked across prairies. They did all sorts of amazing things without medicines. So we are built to survive. If you can feed these with you know, vegetable chicken soup and keep happy thoughts, exercise, sleep, often that is enough to keep you well.